Hey McFly subscribers, I have another review for you today. And if you've been following the channel, yep, you guessed, you guessed it, it's the armor reel that I fish with quite a lot, at least in the last year. And pretty much any time I'm going out with my five weight, I, <laughs> I've been using their rod um, and their reel, this reel and rod, almost exclusively for most of my river fishing uh, in the last year or so. Caught quite a few nice fish on it and the rod and love them both. I think they're great. So I'm going to review it for you. I think I've put enough time into it to know whether it's a good reel or not and be able to give you guys some insight on what you can expect if you buy this reel. This was sent to me for free. Okay. Um, so I want to get that out of the way guys. This was free. Okay. They sent this for me. I didn't pay for this one. Um, they just basically sent it over. We're like here, we like your channel. Um, we would like, to send you some gear for you to test. So I said, okay. So for any of you that watch my channel and have seen my previous reviews, you know that my reviews are lengthy. I, I, they usually half hour or longer. Okay, I am, I am a heavily winded person. I talk quite a bit, but also I like to give as much info as possible so you guys can make a informed, good informed decision on your purchases. But some people complain about the length of the video Okay, so I'm just going to give a quick rundown right now, and then we'll go into more depth in a minute. Right now, the quick rundown is, for the money, I think this is one of the better reels out there. Partially CNC machined, okay, and the other part is going to be cast, okay, so it's, it's partially, they, they machine the important parts. Um, and it's, uh, it's got a really decent drag, I think. It's a really good quality drag, and it's only $100. In fact, it's less than $100 because they offered all my subscribers a discount. So you go to their website, www.risenfly.com, and you go ahead and put this in your cart, or any, really any other products, everything that they sell, you can put it in your cart and then type in McFly. So my, my channel name, McFly, right? I'm McFly Angler. So just type in McFly at checkout for under $100, 80, I think roughly around $85. You can get this reel. At least right now, hopefully they continue doing the discount. But for now, they're doing the discount, and I, I don't suspect that they're going to take that away. Uh, I don't think I'm going to not work with them any time in the future. I, they're a great company. Just use that discount, and it'll it'll give you some money off. So really, for the money, for a partially machined reel, one that works great, there's really no major issues with it that I have. Uh, for something under $100, there's really nothing out there in this quality, in my opinion, okay? There are some other reels out there that are in that price range, but I wouldn't necessarily say they're even close to as good. Of course, you can always step up. If any of you have been watching, you know that I love the Gideon, which also is sold by Risen. This is $180, $189, I think, starting. So after the discount, it's like $160, roughly. I don't know exactly. <laughs> I can't do it quick off my head, but roughly in that price range. Um, this one I, I love. I think this is one of the best reels I've really ever used. And for the money, you just can't beat it. It is fully machined. It's not partially machined, okay? And we'll talk more about this in a minute. And I'll do a full review on that at one point, too. For the that price range, though, there's really not much. There you go. If you guys want it, go ahead and buy it, okay? If you don't have the time, you don't want to spend a half hour, 45 minutes watching this video. Okay? I, don't, I kind of just wing these, okay? But I do sit and talk exclusively about them, okay? And I do have some talking points, so you will get some important info from it, and then you'll hear my ramblings about, you know, things I've done with it and what I, you know, what I think of it. So the Risen Armor Fly Reel. Now, this has a funky paint job, and I say funky, actually, really cool paint job. It's a really nice paint job, and I think this is a one-off. I don't think you can get this. In fact, I know you can't get it on their website, you might be able to contact them and ask for it, and they might be able to get you it. It's pretty cool, though. Really neat looking. I like it a lot. They did something special for me. I, I thought that was really nice of them, okay? So if you do get it, it's going to be all black. I think the whole reel, even the black, be anodized black. Um, and if any of you guys own it, and you let me know, because I don't. I only have this one, <laughs> which is painted. Okay, but for a painted reel, um, it, you know, you would think it'd start flaking off. It hasn't. This is really high quality. I've beat that heck out of this thing up. I mean, I've, I've just, I've, I wasn't nice to it and it's still looking like the day I got it. Okay. So it's, it's, it's good. There's actually one little nick right there from dropping it, but it's not that bad. And that, that's definitely my fault. So it looks really good. 
Okay, so I'm guessing the black would do the same. It's probably the same type of paint, right? But I think that's all that they carry on their site is the black color. So, but black goes with everything. And so, I mean, who really cares what it looks like? It's about what it functions, right? But I do think it's a nice looking rail, pretty decent. It is smooth, so if I can get that line to not stop. If the line wasn't catching, sorry guys, what happened here? If the line wasn't catching like this and looping up, then that would keep on spinning. All right. <laughs> so, really smooth reel, guys. I still got some line slapping out. I mean, I'm feeling it hit my, my finger, so that's slowing it down. Really smooth. Another nice thing you can tell about quality with reels is whether it wobbles. And there's a slight wobble when you really spin it hard. Still have yet to find a reel that doesn't have a little bit. Um, but it's so minimal, you almost don't feel it. So, if a, you know, fish is taking off real quick, um, peel and drag, uh, it's not going to be wobbling all over your hands. Some of these are not well balanced. Um, this one is. It's really well balanced, okay? Just look at that. Well balanced reel which means the rest of it is going to be good too, okay, generally, okay, for the most part, you can tell. Nice balanced reel. I'm not talking about, some of them have a little more tension when they spin, that's not necessarily what I'm talking about, although the fact that it's spinning nice like this is pretty cool, um, you know. Anyway, you can tell that it's well balanced by it's not, not wobbling too much when you go ahead and just give it a quick spin. Which is hard to do, honestly, with these reels. This is a partial frame reel. So, it's light, it's small, okay? And I'm gonna do something really quick here. I'm gonna dive it, I'm gonna kinda dive us into something else. Actually, it's kinda the bad of the reel, the only bad thing, really, in a minute. I'll tell you about it. But for now, that's the, the frame, guys. This is the frame. Pretty minimal. Really makes this a light, Real. Good quality heavy duty drag here. Uh, I was told it's a cork drag and I was told it's not uh, sealed. Although, there's a gasket here. Really good gasket. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. That's one of the qualms I have with the reel. It's the only, only thing. And I have dunked this many times. I am not, I was not nice to this reel. This reel, you know, Hasn't owed me a favor, but it has keep on going. I have been so mean to this reel. I just, I really abused it. Um, and um, I mean, I wouldn't say abused it, but really, really given it, you know, I've dunked it many times, gotten dirt in it. I know I have um, dirty rivers and whatnot, uh, fished with it, and I, I rarely take it apart and clean it. Um, in fact, I, I think I never taken it apart and cleaned it. And this thing is still working, like the day I got it working really well. The other thing, while I've got it off, I want to show you guys, there's a little groove right here. I'm going to get a better close-up. You can see how this is positioned. That kicks up and that lays right in the groove, okay? So, some of these reels, and this, and they do it well, too. It's not like, uh, you know, a whole lot of gap, okay? In fact, there's almost no gap. A lot of people have issues, um, and I've had issues with other reels before with this, where they put the line on, you go to cast it, and then it pops out, right? So it, it comes right up under because it doesn't sit really tight in there. It'll just kind of, there's a gap there, and the line just pops out, and then therefore, then you're stuck, and then it's really hard to get back in. For some reason, it comes out easy, but it doesn't go in easy. This eliminates that because it rests right in there. So I do like that. Um, that's one thing that I've noticed with especially some of the lesser expensive reels that I've seen have issues in that sense. Um, this is a less expensive reel, but they've still fixed that issue. So I really like that. So now comes one of my main issues with it is getting this end cap on, which, hey, I got it this time. I got it right away. Sometimes it just wants to cross thread. I've had issues with it where that goes back on. There's a gasket there and it just makes it want to kick off to the right when you're screwing on. Um, that's time I got it. All right, good. Well, I'm still going to talk about the issue because it is something that had given me an issue before. 
So yeah, basically, like I said, it'll kick off, kick off um, whether left, right or left, but um, it'll kick off and then um, that gasket there and it'll make it so it won't cross thread and you just can't get that cap back on. It makes it really difficult. It is a pain. Um, unless you're taking it apart all the time, then there should be really no issue with you on that. Um, and I rarely take it apart. The only time I do is if I, if something happens, my line knots up and I just can't seem to get it out. Um, it's happened before because I was a doofus or whatever. I did something stupid and, uh, you know, get a, you can still rat's nest, uh, you know, fly reels. I, I'll, I, I can contest to that. You can do it. And uh, sometimes I have to pop it off and I've done that and then I had trouble getting it back on. Seems like it worked that time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But really, in my opinion, for a reel in this price range, that's kind of a non-issue. Um, up to you, whether you, you, know, you think it is or not. Um, to me, I'd rather something that's going to perform well while I'm fighting a fish uh, and fishing rather than something while I'm home that I, you know, can always try to figure something out. I don't want to have to try to, when I'm home, you know, I don't want to try to figure something out when I'm out on the river fighting a fish, fishing and take away my fishing time. Okay, so rarely do I take that off when I'm out fishing. It's just maybe a handful of times, but not, not too often. So that uh, is uh, the only issue I really have with this reel. So right off the bat, that's it, guys. That's really my only issue uh, for the price range, of course. Okay, um, the paint, I'm not not a huge fan, but again, I don't know if um, I, I I think it's beautiful, but paint on a reel is not necessarily something I'm, I'm stoked about. So that might be my other issue. Although this here is anodized, black anodized, so maybe the original is not a paint job. Maybe the original is a black anodized, and I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know that. I like the drag. It's a, it's a large knob, easy to make minute changes, okay? So some of these that have these little tiny drags on the back really bug me because you barely move it, and then you just turned it, you know, three-quarters of the way, barely moving it. This allows you to make very fine little adjustments and get get that drag exactly where you want it, right? So that's, I do like that. Good thoughts on that, um, Risen, with how you created that. Um, just a bigger knob is, is smart, and I think a lot of companies should be going that, that direction with a larger, larger drag knob, so that way you can make, you know, it's easier to grab when your hands are wet. Um, just, you know, there's a whole bunch of reasons. So I do think the reel looks cool. Obviously, I showed you the partial frame here. It's a really cool looking frame. And you know, a lot of times with these partial frames, they're not really well balanced. And this, like I talked before, it is, it is. it's really well balanced. It's generally strong too. Some of these will you know, break down with bigger fish, uh, a lot of pressure being put on them. And I've tightened the drag down pretty good and fought some fish and it does pretty well. Granted, it's a five weight and the biggest fish I think I've caught with it was a catfish. And I'll post that video up here. Um, they handled it well, and the catfish pulled some drag. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the very beginning stages of the fish pulling, and that thing just, I mean, it peeled drag like crazy. By the time I hit play on my camera, uh, it wasn't really, you know, pulling as hard, but it's still pulling some drag. But boy, that thing spun out real quick, put a lot of, a lot of pressure on this reel, um, and the reel did really well, handled it very well. But really, in reality, four or five weight, uh, very rarely are you going to be putting fish to the drag if you're going to be using it properly, um, like most five weights should be used. Not a whole lot of fishing out there that you use five weights for that fish are powerful enough to really strip a lot of drag unless you hook into something bigger than you're expecting, which is what happened there. I was not expecting a catfish, but it happened. So it's good to have it, and this does really well. I think it's a really good drag. So for the drag, like I said, it's not fully uh, sealed. But I've never had issues with it. I dunk it, and some, some reels you dunk them, and they lose drag completely. It's really weird, but this is a cork drag, so I, I, I'm pretty sure the reason why it doesn't, it doesn't lose drag and not being sealed is that it's cork. Cork tends to not, I guess, uh, lose as much tension when it's wet, I guess. Um, I've had other reels where they were not sealed drags. You dunk them, and then it's almost like it's... it's like that. I mean, there's just almost no drag left and you really got to tighten it down to be able to get that drag there. That's not, that's not this reel. Um, this does not do that. You get it wet and it's still going to provide, it might lower it again a little. I'm not, not hundred percent sure. I haven't scientifically, you know, proven this, but I don't notice much. I just don't notice much when I'm out on the river. If I dunk it, whether or not 
I've lost drag or not, okay? Some reels, it's like, you know, you dunk it and then you go to strip line out um, and you rat's nest. It just, you know, it happens because you now have no tension on the drag and you're stripping line out and the thing just spins because it's wet. And that does not happen with this. This uh, holds the tension pretty well. So let's talk about price, guys. Um, I already mentioned it's $100. So they have a three and four size reel. So a reel that's made for three weight and four weight. Uh, that one's $100. And the weight on that, so these are relatively light, uh, the weight on that is 5.8 ounces for that specific reel, for the 3.4. Now, of course, you're gonna get a little bigger with a 5.6, obviously, so the weight's gonna go up. So the weight on this one, this is a 5.6, is a 5.68 ounces. And the price of this one is also $100, so the price does not change with the 3.4 versus 5.6. But it does go up $6, roughly. To the 7.8 okay so they do have a 7.8 it's a little larger reel and it goes up to $105 for the 7.8 most reel companies will bump up a little bit on price when they go you know go for a larger reel because it's more materials and whatnot okay so that's that's common that's the price range of these I don't have the weight of the 7.8 I'm sorry I could not find that info so I sent a question in to the company and they said that they would get back to me on on that um, as soon as possible, but I needed to make the video today. So I'm gonna put it up in the, right up here. Uh, I'll just post up the, the weight of the 7.8, um, but I, I'm gonna guess it's right right in the five ounce, you know, five to six ounce range, it's probably right in there. I can't imagine it's much heavier. Uh, maybe pushing six ounce, um, which is still pretty darn light. I mean, it's it's a partially, you know, it's not a full frame reel, so it's not gonna be super heavy. You know, some of these really, you know, the they're almost too thin. Um, you risk, you know, if you drop it, um, risk bending things, whatnot, because it's not full frame. Um, I, I don't find that with this. Again, I've dropped it many times. I've got, you know, a nick there. In fact, I, I just recently, there's a nick there too, probably from the same drop and one right there. So, um, but again, I've, <laughs> I've dropped it multiple times. So those might've been from other drops, but it's never had any issues. There's no bend, no issues. I mean, it's still spinning like the day I got it, still working, you know, forgiving for clumsy, people like me. So those are the, that's, that's the prices of this and the sizes that they have, the three, four, they have the five, six, which is this one. And then they have the seven, eight. Um, again, uh, all roughly about that hundred dollar range. You do jump up to $105 with the seven, eight. These are, like I said, they are partially die cast and partially CNC machined. I don't know which parts are CNC machined and which parts are die cast. I don't know. I don't have that info, but whatever it is, they've done a great job because it does not feel you know, some of these die cast reels, I mean, there, there's a place for die cast. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not, not against die cast. One thing though, that the difference that you'll notice with a die cast versus, versus a CNC machined reel is that the CNC will be generally lighter and stronger for what it is. A die cast for some reason with it, uh, the way that the process is, I don't know, I'm not an engineer, I couldn't tell you why, but I've noticed that some of these, they tend to be a little less rigid, a little less strong, and they just have a kind of feel to them. Like, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but yet, you know, that kind of almost just doesn't feel solid. This feels pretty darn solid. Um, this feel, feels a little more solid, okay? Again, fully machined, you're gonna pay, you're all, it's almost double the cost. Okay, but I, I almost think it's worth it. It's really good if you're looking for a main reel. Um, but this is, uh, um, and you have the money, of course. Um, but this being partially, um, they, they save a little money because machining is very expensive. And that's why the cost of, of fully machined reels is very high. Okay, so they save some money in certain parts. I don't know which those are. I'm, I just don't. Okay, um, I, I don't want to make a guess. I don't want I don't, I have no clue. But whatever parts they chose to, to cast versus machine, uh, they chose well because... I'm not noticing the problems. Um, the problems with cast is you'll, you, there's burrs. You'll notice that there's some burrs. So sometimes what they'll do is they'll cast it and then they'll, um, you know, machine off the burrs. Possibly they could have done that and it will save some money in time. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, I don't have that info. But uh, I do know that they did a good job with it. So the, you don't feel those burrs. Um, everything's pretty darn smooth. There's no rough, sharp parts which you can notice with some uh, poorly jo done jobs with uh, machining. With the cast, you notice that there's, like I said, rough um, spots too, not just sharp, but rough, uh, because that cast, you know, they, you know, where the mold comes together, I guess. I don't know, again, I'm not a, <laughs> I, 
I, I don't know 100%. I just know from what I've felt, from what I've seen with reels that are cast, okay? So they do, like I said, they do a good job with this um, in general for what they chose to machine versus what they chose to cast. Did a great job at keeping the cost down, but also giving you a high quality reel. You can hear. There's a little light click, which I like. I don't like reels that have absolutely no sound when reeling. So this is, this is not with the drag, this is reeling in. I don't know why, I just like a little bit of a click, um, but it's not loud. Some of these that are, you know, tick, 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 I mean, that, that just is ridiculous. And honestly, I think it can scare away the fish, especially on a really quiet stream. I don't like that, I don't like really loud, but this is not gonna scare away fish. It's, it's not gonna scare away fish at all but there is a little bit of an audible click there, which I like. Same thing going with the drag peeling off, okay? Oh. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can hear that. There's a light click to it when the drag is being pulled off, which I think is important, okay? There's just something about fishing there's is more than just it's all your senses right so when you're out fishing all your senses go and there's just something about that click when a fish is taking off that you hear so one other thing that really makes this a really nice reel for the money guys is it's a hundred dollar reel actually a little less with my discount yet you get a lifetime warranty on it I mean that's pretty much unheard of in this industry, not lifetime warranties that comes um, from everywhere. They all say it, if, but but they're all going to be two, three hundred dollar reels. Some of them have them in a little less, one hundred and fifty dollar reels and whatnot that are in that are covered under a lifetime warranty. And some will say lifetime warranty, uh, but if you read like the fine print, it's not really a lifetime warranty. Okay, uh, this is okay. So in any instance that this breaks. And it's not your fault where it falls off the back of a truck or something like that, or <laughs> you run it over with your car, or, you know, um, if, it, if it's not your fault, okay, and it's obviously something that breaks in the reel under normal use, uh, they, will, they will replace it and fix it for free. At least that's what, what I gather with their, with their uh, warranty. I've never had to use it, nothing's broken, but if you break it, okay, and all the companies, even if, if even if it's their fault and it breaks, um, they will they will make you pay this. They I don't believe Risen does if it's their fault, but all the other companies do this. If it's something that you did, let's say you drop this off the back of your truck, uh, you put it up on the roof or whatever, and it you drive away and it rolls off and it's you know completely bent or whatever because of something, or you run it over or. I don't know, whatever you do to it, I don't even know what you could do to, to really mess it up bad, um, I can't imagine. But if there is something that makes it not work, but it, you, it's your fault, even if you tell them it's your fault, uh, they charge, um, but it's not very much money. They only charge you $25, guys, $25, that's it. You mail it in, they mail you back a new one, $25, pretty cheap, okay? So this reel to me is, the perfect beat her up, don't worry about it kind of reel. It keeps ticking, okay? It's hard to hard to really hurt it. I, I've, I've, I've not been nice to the thing and it just keeps running. It's covered under a warranty, so if you do mess it up, I mean, it's just $25 to replace it, okay? And it's, a, it's way better quality than a $25 reel you're gonna find at maybe Walmart, okay? I mean, there's, there's no comparison. I mean, I, in my opinion, it makes the perfect backup reel, okay? You just, chuck it in your bag, you've got it. it's light, it's small, it's lightweight, okay? It's not like this big, heavy, bulky reel. It's nice and lightweight, um, so you can just keep it with you in the back of your, you know, car or, you know, under the seat or whatever for in case something happens to your other reel, um, your main reel. If, you're, if you've been fishing for a long time um, and you've got other reels, higher quality reels, you know, again, I say higher quality. Be hard pressed to find something much higher quality than, let's say, the Gideon. I think um, it's a really nice reel. Um, there are technically better quality reels than this. I mean, 
obviously Gideon. Um, there's a couple other brands out there that make some great stuff. You'll pay a lot of money, okay? But let's, I'm just being honest here. It's, this is a good reel. Really good reel, but it's not the highest quality reel. But if you have those, the ones that you fish with all the time, let's say you've got a, a five weight, okay, and your reel is um, $800 reel, Okay, which they are out there. There's thousand dollar reels out there. Let's say you've got this amazing reel. Okay, and this amazing rod setup. You paid eighteen hundred dollars for the whole setup, whatever it may be. And uh, that's what you fish with. Obviously, you're going to fish with something that you spent that much money on. Um, if it breaks, which all things do. Okay, if it breaks, you want something to back up. You don't want to, you know, forgo the day. Right? You're out there fishing. Um, you don't want to forgo the day. This is perfect to throw in the bag. Let's say the reel busts on you while you're out fishing. I've seen it happen. I've seen, I've seen nine hundred dollar able reels where the drag just goes, and it's unusable. I mean, the thing doesn't spin. I've seen it out on rivers. People are like, I just, I spent so much money on this reel. I can't believe it busted. It happens, guys. Okay. Amazing, it hasn't happened with this hundred dollar reel. Honestly, it's almost bulletproof. <laughs> I've, I've tried to break it doesn't happen. But let's say you've got that really nice reel you love fishing with, you love the reel, whatever. Breaks, let's say. I can just go to the car or whatever. Let's say I keep it in, in the car. I keep an extra rod and reel in the car. I can just go grab that and continue fishing for the day. That's how I see this reel. Now, I've used this as my main reel. So I say that it's not a backup reel quality. Okay, it's a main reel quality. It's good reel. There are some better ones out there, obviously. But it's a good main reel. Okay, but if you've been fishing for a long time, you probably have already your arsenal and you're just looking for something as a backup or let's say something breaks and you want something more. Um, this is a great option for you because it is one of those that you can kind of, you know, forget about it almost. Um, you just throw it in your bag. You don't have to worry about bending it or hurting it or whatever. And if you do, like I said, it's a $25 warranty or one of those great reels to take out really and beat up in my opinion because it's not going to... I've gotten grime in this. I've really hurt, you know, tried to hurt this thing and it just won't uh, hurt. Uh, I can't seem to, to hurt it. So if you're out fishing and you don't want to take your really expensive reel, take this, okay? This is going to work perfect for you and you got that $25 warranty. Also, um, the other thing I see it as a perfect um, starter reel. I think this is the best starter reel out there. I've always said, you know, get a rod. Number one, look for a rod. Don't look for a reel first, look for a rod. When you're fly fishing, the rod is the most important item in, in your, that's what you're connected to with the fish. That's what's gonna give you the cast. That's what's gonna give you the action. That's how you're gonna fish. So I don't really consider reels as the main part of the line, um, as, the, as the setup. Uh, it's there, you need it, but the rod is the number one, right? So go out, spend your money, find the rod that you think is perfect. Um, then number two would be the line. Make sure that the line works, especially with that rod. Some lines don't work so well with other rods, depending on how stiff the rod is. This would be one of those reels that, you know, you're getting a new setup and you just grab a reel to put on. I think it's perfect. And you might never even need to or want to um, upgrade later in the future, personally. If I've got a $800 rod that I'm sticking this on, I would still fish this easily. But at one point when I want to step up, I might go to something like this. But that's how I see this reel. Um, it's the perfect reel for beginning fishermen. If you're going to go out and go spend your money on a rod and then the line and then get this. It is inexpensive, but that doesn't mean this is cheap. This is something that you could actually keep on there. I mean, this is not, not Chinese or Walmart, you know, Chinese brand. If you guys have been around for the channel a long time, I had a company a long time ago that I actually promoted um, because I found that their quality was decent for the money. Um, they were a cheap company though. They were cheap Chinese reels, but they were, they were cheap. Uh, this is close to those prices and I think way better. They had a lot of issues, that company. Um, started having a lot more issues and so I stopped promoting them. In fact, I've got a story about that in a second. But Risen has really high quality. That's the thing is this is good quality, but it is in the inexpensive range. So it is something that you can afford, especially starting off. That's the whole point. Actually, that's the whole point of Risen. I've talked with the owner before, and that's really why he did this is he loves fishing, but he had so many people that he talked to, they were like, I can't afford to get into fly fishing. I have to stick with conventional, and he wanted them to try fly fishing. So he started this company, something that he could give good quality stuff Okay, that they could actually start and fish with and continue fishing with for a long time, 
not feel like they need to get an upgrade. In fact, maybe never need to upgrade. I've fished with a lot of different, I have tons of reels and rods. I've got an $800 Sage rod and I choose to go out with my, um, you know, Risen uh, ITB rod uh, more often than anything else. Good quality stuff, but at a reasonable price. So that's how I see this reel, um, especially this one, is this is their least expensive reel. But it's good quality. It's still good quality. I mean, it still is going to get you out there. It's still going to fish well. Okay, there are a few little things here and there that I go, well, something else is nicer. Kind of, right? Honda Civic versus, you know, Ferrari or something, right? Um, it's, uh, certain things are nicer about other reels, but this is, will get the job done. It's a good reel. It's a good kind of beater up reel in a way. It's a good reel to get you out there and fish where you don't have to spend a ton of money. So uh, that really quick backstory. So what I like about Risen, especially, um, is that they let me talk. So like I said earlier, Risen did send this to me for free, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to um, promote it when I think that there's something wrong with it. I am promoting it, but that's because I think it's a good reel. I am going to tell about the negatives and the positives, and, um, and I feel like I have. I pretty much stated all the negatives on it, and there's not a whole lot, honestly but I have stated them all. What I like is Risen allows me to do that. Okay, they send me a free thing. You know, I'm not one of those people to kind of sugarcoat something. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna be straight up and honest about it, okay? In fact, I make people mad about it sometimes because I, I'm too honest. My wife says this all the time, I'm too honest. Probably shouldn't have said that, that was a little rude, but that's just how I am, right? I'm not gonna sugarcoat something for someone, I just tell it how it is. I don't like lying, in my opinion, stretching the truth is lying. And that's just how I am. And so uh, a while back, I, I used to recommend you guys, uh, if you guys remember uh, a different reel company from China, I think it was Pisces Fun or something. And I had gotten some of their reels and I liked them. They were decent um, for the money. Um, I was looking for something inexpensive that wasn't, you know, a $400 reel. And uh, these, those were inexpensive and I tried them and there was some couple things wrong with them, but they were decent. And that company saw my review and was like, hey, we'd like to send you more stuff. And so they did. And a couple of the things were good. Some were bad. And I ended up doing a review on one of their reels. And I had a few, I mean, I thought it was a decent reel. It was okay. But I had a few things to say about it that I would change. They stopped working with me because they wanted me to say all the good things, which that is, to me, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you know, <laughs> that's just not how I work, I'm sorry. Uh, make a better product and then I will say better things about it. Um, and this is what, what I told when Risen sent me these. Um, I said, I'm just gonna say it how it is. Um, luckily they make a good product, so there's just not a whole lot bad to say. I have said a few things, I think that could be improved, um, but there's a few things to be improved, but again, for the price point, who cares? about a few little things, as long as it gets you out on the water and it works at this $100 range, um, kind of, you can't be super picky in my opinion. And it's picky enough, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, that's kind of nitpicking in my opinion. And again, it all has to do with the price point. If I was paying $400 for this reel, I'd probably be a little bit more nitpicky about a few things. I'd want this to work perfectly. Okay, I want this little section to be easier to screw off and put back on Okay, because it's a little bit tight. Uh, see, I'm, there we go, all right. And you gotta wiggle it off and, all right. Hey, it's off, okay. That, to me, could be improved upon. Okay, there's a few little things, but yeah, if this was a, you know, $400 reel, I would say, you guys gotta figure that out, but, you know, and they are. That's the thing is I told them about it. <laughs> they, they said they're working on it. So they, they are working on it. So they even listened, even though at the price point, they shouldn't have to. So that's that. There's the review, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Hope it was informative. I know a lot of you were waiting to get this reel, seeing what I would say with the review. Um, a lot of you ended up just getting it. Sorry it took a year, but I just want to make sure I fished with it enough. Really understood the reel before I made a review. That's why my reviews are so long, because I just talk about the real. Um, I just keep on talking. I am heavy-winded, I know, and I a lot of times will ramble and talk about the same thing over and over again. But hopefully this was informative, and you guys were able to get you know all you need to know about this reel. Um, I will next be probably reviewing the ITB rod. So that's what I actually I have paired up with this reel. 
uh, works great um, together. I think it's a good good setup. In fact, the ITB is one of the better rod, uh, rods I've ever fished with. I, I really like the action. It's a little more moderate action, so stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly when that's going to come out, but um, soon. Okay, so that's probably the next one that I'm gonna I'm gonna release. If you are looking for a reel, this would be it. I really really do like it. Be hard pressed to find another reel that you can get. Well, you can get with my discount for eighty-five dollars, but under a hundred dollars, that is this nice. You just you can't. I, I don't I, I don't think you could. Okay, so let me know if you if you know something. Um, tell me what you guys think. If any of you have fished with this, please tell me what your ideas are of it um, in the comment section. I think most of you would be really really happy with this reel at that price point. Okay, so you obviously don't expect a thousand dollar reel quality, but. This is honestly in the $200 range, in my opinion, at least. So definitely, guys, go to www.risenfly.com, okay? And type in my discount when you purchase anything on their site. Everything that they've got there, you can use a discount for. Um, I thought that was really cool of them to send that discount. I said, you know, what can... Okay, so great. Thank you for sending me these reels. Is there anything that we can do for my subscribers? And they said, yes, uh, we can give them a discount. So that's awesome. So all of you watching the video, uh, make sure you're a subscriber of mine. Click that subscribe button down below. Use the discount, guys. Um, go ahead and, and, and use that and get that 15% off. Um, everything in their shop. So that's, they, they've got great hooks. They've got great uh, rods and reels. Um, good quality line for the money. I mean, this is pretty good line, honestly, guys. Um, and it's way less than you'd spend for most lines you know, uh, from name, you know, big name brands. So good quality line I've used. Um, pretty much everything they've got there is pretty good quality, if not great quality. Their barbless hooks, by the way, are some of the best hooks I've ever used. Um, and they're really good price. So especially even better with, with the discount. So definitely go check them out. Um, they have more than just reels. Go check that out. Make sure again to use my discount. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.